Okay, people. Russia coming to you from Russia's regular lounge in the Dominican Republic. The first authentic Jamaican restaurant in the country. It's the only place that you can get real Jamaican food. If you buy, if you see Jamaican food on a menu anywhere else, you're taking a big chance. Chances are you're gonna spit it out. I get lots of <laughs> complaints like that. But anyway, that's not what I want to talk to you about. I want to ask you, tell you how to find a good woman. How you how you meet a good woman? How you meet a good woman is you don't have sex with her. When you first meet her, don't have sex with her. That's it. After she, after this woman gave you her heart, then she belongs to you. You have to earn that. There's no such thing as love at first sight. Only sex at first sight. That's all it creates. All right? My girlfriend died in 2007, and I've been celibate. I've been alone ever since. And I'm not a, I'm not a homosexual. You understand? I can get any woman. I can go. I, I have so many women that come into my bed that I try to help beautiful women. And I tell them, I can't have sex with you until I have your heart. I have one of them. She cried. So beautiful. She said, you were fooling me. And so many guys that would, that would do anything for me to give myself to them. So many experiences I have guys. So if you want to meet a good woman, don't have sex. The moment you have sex, the woman loses all respect for you, and then you get married, and all you will have is a sex body. You have a sex one night stand body, and when the novelty wears off, you have an every night sex body. Then you get married, you have a baby, and things go wrong when you start to see the person for what they really are, you can't walk away because you're already attached. That's when you think you're in love, right? And then, in some stage, the statement that says, hell hath no fury but for a woman's scorn. When you take a woman's, I heard a woman, a girl told me, I think she's about 37, she, I think she had a child, she said she would give anything to have her virginity back. She prayed, she cried to get her virginity back. So there's a value in it. So when you help a woman to preserve that, my friend, she will appreciate you. And if she don't appreciate you, then, then you let her, you let her, you let her run and find another sucker that it will work on and they deserve each other. And that's her future. One pair of pants up to the next and then she's old and ugly and nobody will want her because she lost the cardinal rule of life. Once the novelty of sex is gone, guys, you have nothing left. Nothing. I'm not jealous of a beautiful woman walking down the street with a guy because it's all vanity. You understand? There is no future in that. There's a prettier woman than, than, than her out there. There's a more handsome guy than you out there. So what are you jumping into bed with her for? Vanity, my friend. So if you wanna, if you wanna find the meaning of life, learn to respect women. Don't have sex with them. Don't have sex. And when you do it like that, when the time is right, when the time is right, the divine power will bring you together and then you'll be married. You don't need a piece of paper. Bless the Lord.